a sophomore from Burke. Where is our car? No. What every student should know is that school is not a safe place. It's not a place that can promise you'll come out alive. Every day I fear for my life. Every day I fear that the final time I'll see my dad is when he drops me off at the front steps. Every day I fear I'll hear a loud gunshot echo through my school halls. It happens every day, so why should I feel safe? All too often I hear someone died from a shooting. I hear two people dead and I think, well, that's not too many, it's not that bad, but two lives are too many. We're all so numb to it now because it happens more often than it should. I'm scared that I'll become another tally mark on the board of people who keep losing their lives to the film that keeps being replayed over and over, even though we know how it will end. How many more tally marks have to be made before some sort of change happens? I don't want to hear thoughts and prayers. I want someone to do something to make me feel like I don't have to scout out hiding spots in a classroom. I want someone to do something to make sure I will never have to see carpet stained with my friend's blood. I want someone to do something to make sure I don't get shot and killed. Every time a school shooting happens, nobody does anything to stop it from happening again. And the people who do have the power to save lives do nothing but give thoughts and prayers. I'm so scared that I'll die before I get to graduate high school, before I go to college, before I get my first job, before I get married, before I get to live. This fear of mine gets so bad that some nights I have graphic dreams. I hear a gunshot go off and I hide under a desk. In my hiding spot, I have a view into the hallway. I hear screaming and footsteps coming down the hall. I see my friend running down the hall. Then a gunshot fires and a bullet collides in her back and she falls to the ground. She screams in pain and makes eye contact with me. I can see the fear in her pale blue eyes as she knows it's the end. And then another gunshot fires and I'm looking at her pale blue eyes that can no longer see me. I snap my eyes open in panic and look at my clock that reads 624. I try to comfort myself knowing it's time to wake up for school. I promise myself this will never happen to me. But all the people who have gone through this never thought it would happen to them. So I can't promise that to myself. Just like I can't promise I'll come out of school alive that day.